To access the Skyward Family Access login screen, you need to visit any of the Lake Stevens School District websites. I'm currently on the Lake Stevens School District homepage where you find the main menu. In the main menu, there's a Skyward Family Access login icon. Clicking this icon opens a new tab. From this tab, you can log in with your login ID and password. If you don't know your login ID or password, you can use the Forgot Your Login Password option below the sign in button, or you can contact the office of your child's school. Before logging in, I want to caution you against searching for Skyward in your favorite internet browser. If you do, you'll find numerous results. Unfortunately, all but one of these results lead to a login portal for a different school district, and you will not be able to access Skyward through that login screen. Once you've entered your login ID and password and click the sign in button, you land on the home screen. The first thing to do is access my account and check that the information is correct. If you need to make changes, you can do that here or contact your child's school. If you have more than one child in the Lake Stevens School District, before you use the navigation bar on the left, you must choose which of your students you want to view. At the top, you can make that choice. On the left side of the screen is the navigation menu, and on the right side of the screen, you can see upcoming events. In the center of the screen is the messages stream. You can control your message settings at the top of the screen. You may notice that many of these messages are the same messages that arrive in your email inbox. When messages are posted, the sender may choose to have them sent as an email as well. If you don't have an email on the system, the stream is where you will need to come to read all messages. At the bottom of each message, you will have the option to reply to the message sender. From the calendar screen, you can view absences, some messages posted to the calendar, as this is an option for the message sender, and assignments. You can get information about any of these items by clicking on the item in the calendar. You can also control how your calendar is displayed in the settings at the top. From the gradebook screen, you can see if there are missing assignments as well as grades. Here you also have the ability to control how the grades are displayed in the display options. Note too that you can check GPA here as well. To see individual grades, you can choose to show them in the display options or by clicking on the overall grade. After changing the display to show assignments, note the next 10 option for when there are more than 10 assignments in the gradebook. Attendance. From the attendance screen, you can see a record of absences. You can view results by period or by day. Here is where you can make an absence request to excuse or inquire about absences without having to call the school office. The remainder of the navigation bar offers less used options, so I will only mention them here and leave them for you to explore. These options are student information. If you have a student at Cavalier or the high school, you can see their advisor here. Schedule. This option displays classes. Test scores. This option displays state test scores. Educational milestones, if applicable. Graduation requirements for high school students. Academic history that shows past grades on record. Portfolio that contains past report cards. And login history where you can see your login history for security purposes. That concludes our tour of Skyward Family Access for Parents and Guardians. If you need further assistance, please reach out to your child's school or the district office for support.